Hello, what's going on everybody out there? What's good? I'm talking to you today about the five things that you need to say no to in order to be able to manifest money. All right, these five things are critical. If you have not subscribed to this channel before and this is your first time, make sure you go all the way to the end of the video. At the end of the video, make sure you subscribe or send some love with a thumbs up. The first thing that you need to make sure you do if you're trying to be a magician if you're trying to manifest money in your life you have to say no to mass thinking okay mass thinking is going along with what everybody else thinks what everybody else says what everybody else does i like to call it it's being a sheep okay i've said before that the sheep does not see the beauty of the sun until it is slaughtered and it is down on the ground and its eyes gaze up at the sun so whenever you are in a space where you're doing everything like what everybody else is doing then essentially what that means is you're in the box okay you're not willing to think outside of the box you're paralyzed by what everybody else is doing and this is not where you want to be you want to be somebody who doesn't who doesn't mind standing out from, from the crowd. You want to be somebody who's different and a non-conformist. Whenever you're doing what everybody else is doing, that's a sign to you that you're not going down the right path. That's a sign to you that there's another road, the road less traveled, that's probably a more fruitful road, but it's the road that most people don't take, either because they're too afraid, either they don't know about it, or they're not interested in stepping away from the crowd. So the first thing that you must do, okay, is to get away from mass thinking, mass indoctrination, the hypnosis of societal condition, move away from that and i guarantee you the further you move away from that the more your financial situation will improve the second thing you need to make sure you do that will help your vibration outside of getting out of the matrix of what everybody else is doing is be mindful of the media programming this is tv this is social media this is any and everything that seeps into your energy field that affects you emotionally psychologically spiritually um mentally anytime you are watching tv all day and tv is running in your house all day and you're watching the news and you're watching the average stuff that comes on tv you have to see it as being programmed you're being programmed you're, bring, you're being brainwashed they're not only subliminal messages but there's a lot of fear that's coming into your home into the into your energy space and your home should be your sanctuary your home is where you should feel safe your home is where you should feel peace your home is where you need to feel solidarity and you can't feel that if you're letting in negative frequencies coming in from other places it's challenging enough to deal with the energies that come into your home that you can't always control family members your children's friends they bring their emotional energetic debris into your home but you can control media you can control the amount of time that tv is running you can control listening to the news which is constantly broadcasting the, the the frequency of fear and it's constantly keeping you in a frequency of being afraid looking over your shoulder wondering about the economic situation and everything else when you want to manifest money you have to detach from media the only thing that i watch every now and then i'll watch something on netflix and I have to do it very sparingly. I watch um, entertainment every now and then because each time I do it, it lowers my vibration and for the, the next two to three days, I actually pay for it. So I do it very seldom. The only thing that I'm ever watching, that I'm ever feeding my mind, body, spirit, and soul is educational programming. I'm always listening to something about my frequency about energy about consciousness about expanded awareness about holistic health healing energy medicine dynamics these are the kinds of things that i listen to why because they feed my mind and anything that's feeding your mind is helping you to create right abracadabra so 
be mindful of what it is that you are watching because everything that you're watching whether it's coming over your phone whether it's something that you're listening to over the radio whether it's something that is on the news this stuff is attacking your energy field it's attacking your energy field so you have to be very careful number three the third thing that you need to do if you're trying to manifest money is you have to eliminate poor people from your life this is a tough one this is one people don't really want to deal with and they don't really want to hear but this is something you have to hear and I'm here to tell it to you you have to eliminate poor people from your life now obviously there are people in your life who you can't really eliminate very easily because they are family members and people that you have to see but what I'm saying is you have to be mindful of being in a vibration around people who no doubt have a lot of negative energy with them and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute but if it's family clearly you can't always get around get away from family so what you have to do is when you're around that kind of negativity poor people and things of that nature what you have to do is you have to guard your own frequency you have to clear your energy frequently and you have to make sure you're not picking up some of their energetic debris it's very very important the longer that you are around someone either they become like you or you become like them it's the principle of entrainment in quantum physics, okay? Two bodies that are oscillating like this eventually will lock into phase and oscillate in the same direction or in the same pattern or at the same frequency based upon the, fi the vibration that has the stronger amplitude, okay? So whenever you're around other people, your, your energy is influencing them or their energy is influencing you. This is very, 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 very serious. So when I say poor people, what I'm saying is this. I'm not talking about doing charitable work. I'm not talking about going out and feeding the homeless. I'm not talking about those sorts of things. Whew. This place does have eels in it. What I'm talking about is people who are constantly struggling. Every time you turn around, they're in a financial crisis. Every time you turn around, they are not they're they're not employed every time you turn around they're talking about their bills being late they're talking about not being able to afford afford this not being able to afford that those are the kind of broke mentality people that you do not want to be around those people have a poverty mindset those people live in scarcity those people live in lack they are totally separated from the the nature of who they are as divine beings which means that they're a victim of their environment which means that there's a lot of negative thinking and negative programming that factors into why they are the way they are so these are not the kind of people that you want to be spending your time with clearly you're going to find yourself in plenty of spaces where you're not going to always be around people who let me see if i can get some of this light out of here i feel like it's the light is coming in clearly you're not going to always be around people who share your same vibration but the idea is that when you put yourself in situations around other people whose vibrations you don't share the key is to make sure that you don't spend a lot of time around these people you don't engage them that much you let what they say hit your little energetic bubble you let it bounce back you don't engage that type of thing you don't make as much eye contact with those people because being in their presence is going to drain you and it will conflict with all of the work that you're trying to do and you will not anyway be able to share in much discussion with these people because these people gave up a long time ago so be very 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 mindful of that the other thing that you have to make sure you do is you have to eliminate feelings of victimhood from your life you have to accept the reality that there is no one to blame you have to be a conscious creator and you have to always remember that to stand in one's power is to take full responsibility and accountability for everything that you create in your environment. The positive stuff and the negative stuff. You have to recognize and you have to be willing to accept that everything that's going on in your life and everything that has gone on into your life, gone on in your life up until this point are things that you have cultivated, things that you have nurtured, things that you have created by way of your thinking by way of how you react to life, by way of the people that you find yourself around, by way of the energy that you cultivate. You have to understand that 
a default vibration, a primary vibration at a certain frequency over a period of time manifests your physical environment, whatever it is. That is the only difference between you and someone who's living a prosperous life. And I'm not just talking about prosperity in terms of wealth. I'm talking about health. I'm talking about relationships and all of the other things that we go after in life that help us to define a quality of life and help us to be more of who we already are. So it's very, very important that you take responsibility. Every time something goes on in your life, you need to ask yourself, what did I do to draw this to me? Or what is this situation trying to teach me about myself? Never blame other people for the situation in which you find yourself in. When you find um, that you are blaming yourself or you listen to pay attention to some of the things that other people do uh, on, a, on a regular basis, who are not empowered, you will constantly hear them looking outside of themselves for an explanation for what happened to them or why they're in the state that they're in. Someone else has always done something else to them. They lost their job because of uh, being fired because of something that someone else did. You will find these people seldom ever able to accept responsibility. They externalize their power. They look outside of themselves for things to blame themselves to blame other people for and when you look outside of yourself to explain why you find yourself in a certain situation you also look outside of yourself for your solutions and a person who is empowered does not look outside of themselves for they for their solutions they look within they look within. So having that victim mentality is something that you got to let go if you want to be a conscious creator, if you want to be a manifester. The fifth thing that you have to do, the fifth and final thing that you have to eliminate from your life if you want to be a conscious creator is ingratitude. Ingratitude. I say this all the time. To me, the most effective way to raise your vibration when you are a mindful conscious creator the most effective way to raise your vibration is to begin counting all of the things that you have to be grateful for look at this beautiful view that i have look at this this the sun the trees all of this abundance okay i have a water bottle that's that's keeping my water cold I am healed, whole, and complete. I want for nothing in this present moment. I have everything that I want. I have talents. I have gifts. I have blood coursing through my veins. I have people that love me. I have a roof over my head. I have a wonderful dog at home. I have a thriving business. Um, I receive passive income. Um, uh, I'm around nature. I have an environment and a multitude of places where I can go to connect with nature and to go within. We have so many things in our lives to be grateful for. How many of us actually take the time to, to think about it? I was talking to um, my stepsister the other day and she was talking to her mother who is going through, she was telling me about her mother who's going through radiation and chemotherapy and she said nobody ever tells you that your fingernails will fall off and that your toenails will fall off and that your hands, the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet will be black like someone painted on them and that your tongue will be black. No one talks about that. In hearing that I thought, oh my gosh, what must that be like? I'm so grateful to have my health. So there's, uh, there's countless things that you have to be grateful for. And I guarantee you, if you sat down to write 100 things that you are grateful for, you could do it in less than an hour. You could do it so fast because once you began to count the things that you had to be grateful for, more and more and more and more and more. Being grateful for the fact that you have eyelashes to protect your eyes from things dropping in your eyes. The fact that you have teeth in your mouth to chew your food with you have saliva can you imagine what would happen if you didn't have saliva how many of you have had a toothache before and watched it almost ruin your whole day or a pain in your back so we have so many things to be grateful for we can never ever cease to be aware of the abundance that is constantly around us the abundance that is always 
bringing greater things into our lives. So you're with Tunisia Ali, Butterfly Transformations, connecting you to the vision of who you truly are. I help women to gain clarity, up-level their mindsets, heal and clear energetic and emotional blocks, and manifest abundance. I want you to have a wonderful day. And I want you to remember all the beautiful things that you have to be grateful for today. And I want you to replay in your mind the five things that you need to eliminate from your life if you're serious about being a, con a conscious creator. You cannot share your frequency freely and without discrimination and discernment when you are serious about success. You have to understand that you have to eliminate things from your life. And when I say poor people, all of us have people around us who are constantly in a drama, constantly complaining, constantly needing money. They never straighten their situation out. And until they deal with themselves, they never will straighten their situations out. Money never solves a problems for someone that has money problems. Giving them money will never solve their problems. Giving them money will only allow them not to have to deal with themselves and what is the source of their money problems, which is the relationship that they have with money and their beliefs. So as you reflect on this video, and don't forget to subscribe and give back with a comment, show some love, share the video, like it. Just remember that you're going to have to make some changes in your life if you want to become a magician you don't get to be a magician by standing in the same space and treading water there's efforting there's a change in your energy dynamics and there has to be a sincere desire to take your life in a different direction have a wonderful day Tunisia Ali butterfly transformations